What's going on everybody? My name is Arun. Welcome to my channel. This series is a tutorial on the numerical python package numpy. So in this tutorial we will be looking at some of the functions that are associated with uh, matrices. So this is a continuation of the values uh, function I mean, uh, video that we left off in the that we did in the previous video. So let's actually get started. So let's say I have two matrices a and b with uh, random integers between 0 and 5 whose size is 6 let's say. So this is my A matrix and this is my B matrix. So it's 1D. First command that we're going to do is actually the uh, is actually the average average. So what average does is that it helps you to do a weighted average of the, of the input matrix, and you have to give an out. Uh, you have to give a weight weight matrix as well. For instance, let's say I specify A and I specify the weights to be the argument weights to be B and present a it gave me 3.1428 damn that's pretty close all right okay now with this being said it will calculate the weighted average for the, all the values of a using the weights to be this now let's actually do this step by step so that we know we understand what's happening so if you do if you want to do a weighted average what we, one might do is that we just take the um, values of a and multiply it by weights and then sum them up so let's see uh, uh, Multiply is actually a is actually a dot b. Okay, so if you look at mult, it's actually the multiplication of these. So four times zero, zero, zero times zero, four times one, zero times zero, two times four, four times three, like that. And then now, or uh, then what I do? I just I I take the sum of this in p dot sum of mult. Okay, and divided by the sum of all the weights np dot sum of the weights all right and there you go you get the same result as we got over here so instead of doing all these steps all these steps you can do this in a single line with the weight with the weights all right now in, in the case wherein you do not specify any weights let's say uh, the average command will take average function will take the weights to be one and it'll give you the same result as that of your mean command. Just to check, there you go. It'll give you the same result as that of the as that of your arithmetic mean command. All right, there. Uh, all right. So there you go. Now let's actually go move to a new thing. It's called as v dot. So there is a command called as v dot, which will which is you know, which gives you the vector, the dot product of two vector two vectors. So all you need to do is just specify two vectors inside. Uh, with v dot and there you go it will give you the dot product of these two vectors so if you just take a and type b and th and then type b look uh, if you just type uh, uh, mult, mult function that we did uh, earlier so this is the multiplication of these two if you look at the sum uh, np dot sum and sum of this mult there you go it's 44 and that's exactly what our uh, v dot function did so this is equal to the dot product of vectors, but never. Uh, so the the only distinction is that the reason why they keep it separate is that to avoid any ambiguity. So if you have matrices, you if you want to multiply them, you want you want to multiply them. It's usually multi element wise multiplication. If you want to do an actual matrix multiplication, then you have to use the dot command. All right. So for vectors, let's say you want to do the matrix multiplication, you can use the dot command or b dot command. It doesn't matter. It will work. It will do the same. But just to have a clarity, clarity, the, we have this v dot command as well for vector for vectors. This only works for vectors, so to speak. All right. So we saw average. We saw v dot. Uh, the, okay. There's another command that I uh, that that might be of little, little small importance, but it might be helpful. It's called as median. What it does is that it returns the median of the matrix A of the input. So what it says is that uh, what it says is that if you look at the value a, it says that it says that uh, it says that the median value, uh, the likelihood for the mean to be located, okay, mean to be located over here. Since there are like uh, six entries over here, the median the median is actually uh, the mean uh, median assumes that the central tendency of the value should be located between the third and the fourth ind indices. So it's three. Hence it gives you three point five. Okay. I, I was trying to search if there was an equivalent command for uh, equivalent equivalent command for um, mode, but apparently apparently it was not there. Anyway, go anyway going along. 
going on now. So there is another command called as non zero. You just type np dot non zero and press enter. And there you go. It'll give you it'll give you a matrix where it'll give you a matrix uh, where the where non zero values are actually uh, actually present. So what it actually says is that in the first uh, it'll give you the indices where in the val non zero values are present. So in the zeroth index there is a non zero value. In the second index there is a non zero value. Third index there is a non zero value. Fourth and fifth index are non zero values. Wherever there is a zero that index will be uh, removed off. Okay. Using this non-zero command, this is pretty helpful. Like, like if you and similarly, if you just type a dot zero, I think the I think it sh I think it should be there. Okay, it does not have that. Okay, yeah, I think it does not have that. Okay, so this non-zero helps you to find the ind indices where only the non-zero uh, non elements are present. Cool. <sighs> now. Now um, let's actually look at the other. Let's actually look at the other functions that are available. We saw sort and we saw sort and v dot. Let's actually look at np uh, inner product. Inner. What inner product does is nothing but the inner product of two matrices. So if you have a, you have b. The inner product of these two matrices is actually the this is actually this result. And if say if you want to find the outer product, I think there is an outer product command as well. So if it a comma b. Here it doesn't. Here this will give you the outer product. Let's say, okay, okay. So there you go. So if you want to find the inner product of two mat, uh, vectors or arrays, so to speak, you do that. You find the inner product, and the outer product will give you this matrix over here. Cool. There you go. Um, this there there you go. In this way, this outer product and inner product functions also work for other matrices as well. The uh, other matrices as well. So. Now what I'll do is let me just uh, take uh, let me take this fu function and then uh, sorry uh, result and then save it to a new matrix C so that I can use C for now. There you go. I have C. Let's say I want to find the transpose of this matrix. All I need to type is np dot transpose transpose and then type C and then C. I can actually save it. CT, let's say, and press enter. You look at CT. CT is actually the transpose of this uh, transpose of the matrices. All right, all right. There you go. Now I now we found since we found the transpose of these two matrices, we can actually do something some other stuff with it. Let me clear this up. Now let this C be. Let's say I want to find the trace of this matrix. That is, I, I want to add up all the diagonal elements. Of this matrix, let's say, all I can need to do is all I need to do is just type c dot trace. Yeah, there is a function called as trace and press enter, and it'll add up the diagonal elements for me. So four plus zero plus eight, so that's twelve. Twelve plus twelve is twenty-four. Twenty-four plus another uh, twenty-four plus eight is thirty-two. Thirty-two plus twelve is forty-four. And there you go. This gives me the sum of all the traces. Similarly, uh, there are other values functions as well. So if I type np dot uh, EIG. I think I did this in the previous video, but it, it's okay to just uh, revise once. So there is this command called as igval. I think this might throw an error because this matrix may not be pro uh, invertible. Yeah. Okay. It's it's actually inside np dot linear g because it's a linear algebra package. All right. Missing argument a comma oh yeah c okay so what this command does is that I mean, function does is that it will return the eigenvalues and the eigenvectors in that particular order so if it, if you look at a eigenvalue there you go apparently for this six by six matrix there are two zero eigenvalues I mean actually three zero eigenvalues wouldn't be, God there are four five let me take a simpler one so that. Okay, simpler one. Let's say c equals np dot random dot rand int, and then type uh, I I'll allow zero, so I'll put two, one comma five comma uh, three comma three. All right. Now let me repeat the same command that I did. If you look at eigenval, now these are my eigen these are my eigenvalues. Okay, at least this time they're non-zero. And if you look at my eigenvectors, 
these are my eigen these are my eigen vectors cool there you go this function helps me to do that as well and similarly uh, there are other condition other conditions as well that other uh, commands that have, that can be done over here for instance for instance there is a command called as um, there's a command called as diff that might be helpful. So if we just type a dot, I think it will, no, not diagonal. Okay, it, I think it's not here. So if we just type np dot diff and press and give a into it, check check this out. What it does is that it will just calculate the consecutive differences. Consecutive differences give the result output to me. So here, uh, 4 minus 0 because there's no entry in the front so you just say 4 minus 0 uh, 0 minus 4 is 4 so okay, 0 minus 4 is minus 4 I will get the entry over here and um, I don't oh okay sorry my mistake my mistake what it actually does is that it takes the, it takes the, my, the differences from this way so 0 this 0 minus 4 is actually minus 4 since I get this minus 4 over here and this 2 minus 0 is 2 and this 4 minus this 2 is 2 this 4 minus this 4 is 0 and this 3 minus 4 is uh, minus 1 and there you go and there you go so what the, what this command actually does is that it gives me the di consecutive dif cumulative consecutive differences between the matrices uh, between the entries of the matrix matrices so to speak all right well, with that being said, I guess I'll stop here. I guess I'll stop here with this. There's still a few more functions left, but uh, covering all of them is uh, close to impossible. So I'll stop it here. This is some of your matrix functions that are available. Some of the matrix functions that are available in uh, NumPy. That's all I have for you all in this video. Thank you for watching. And I'll see you all next time in another interesting video. Uh, till then, take care.